And with tensions growing in the Middle East, Jews in Southern California are marking the start of high holy days under increased security. Mario Ramirez is live in LA's Beverly Grove neighborhood with the story. Good morning, Mario. Good morning. That's right. Rosh Hashanah began at sundown last night, and it marks the beginning of the Jewish New Year with services continuing through the week at places of worship like this one here in Beverly Grove, where there's expected to be an added police presence for Rosh Hashanah services later this morning. And that was definitely the case. Take a look as worshipers arrived at the Temple Beth Am Synagogue in Pico Robertson to begin services there yesterday. The LAPD has been working with several Southern California agencies like Beverly Hills Police Department and the West Hollywood Sheriff's Department. They are going to use these visual deterrents in areas where there will be heavy foot traffic walking to services. Officers will be on foot in patrol vehicles and some even on horseback. Along with the start of High Holy Days, it's the one year anniversary of the October 7th attack on Israel just a few days away. And that's what's fueling the anxiety among the community and the extra security from local law enforcement. You're going to see a lot of LAPD. We have a robust plan in place. You're going to see a lot of LAPD officers being proactive. Many law enforcement agencies within the county of Los Angeles, and we've had a lot of individuals reach out to us, or rather from law enforcement, telling us that they're going to increase presence so the community feels safe, and there's a proper deterrence factor as well. LAPD officials say while planning for stepped-up security had already been underway, the urgency increased earlier this week when Iran launched missile strikes against Israel. The agency says there's no known threat to places of worship here in Southern California, but they are prepared for demonstrations and protests. Rosh Hashanah services continue through Friday, and the increased patrols are expected to continue for the next two weeks through Yom Kippur. Back out here live, law enforcement officials hoping those visual deterrents will keep the community safer during that time. For now, live in Beverly Grove, I'm Mario Ramirez. Back to you. Mario, thank you very much.